The whole use of gold in your work is a little bit similar to the kind of imagery you find in churches and so forth. Well, I was raised in a, in a Catholic, or I was brought up as a Catholic, uh, and uh, one of the things that I noticed in, in churches w when I was at Mass, mm -hmm. I mean, I loved the ceremony of the Mass, yeah. especially a high Mass, and the, uh, the way the interior of the church was decorated with gilding and uh, you know, rich colors and so forth. So I, those, some of those colors worked their way into my work. I wonder if, in just looking at this image that we're looking at on the screen right now, which is the detailed shot of your work, if you wouldn't mind, I, I hope that's okay that I just totally jumped in here, but if you yeah. wouldn't mind talking just a, a little bit about um, the technique by which you're sewing, because what, I mean, I can't help but notice in, in, upon a close inspection of your work, and after talking with a couple of people, that you, you're, you're coming at the sewing from both sides of the paper, or both sides of the material, is that right? Like sometimes maybe you're running the machine this way, and then maybe you would flip. Oh, it's always going through. Okay, it's, you know, it's hard for me to know, because I don't know, so, I don't, don't speak sewing don't, machine. You don't use a sewing machine. <laughs> yeah. No, it's always face up, because okay. that's the, that's the surface that I'm most concerned about. Okay. And what happens often just accidentally is the backs, as, as you mentioned earlier, uh, become very interesting to look at. But, yeah. mm -hmm. but in yeah. fact, there was one case where I did a piece and I took it into my dealer in, in Cleveland and I said, well, which side do we show? Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> and, but normally the, the backs are, uh, the fronts are more interesting than the backs. <laughs> 